What's up everyone, this is FP Sticks, and no, this was not clickbait at all. What you are about to see is um, ridiculously <laughs> uh, crazy. Probably something you've never seen before. Um, these battles were featured from a trainer named JBG Winson. Uh, he's a friend of Jonkis, uh, who's another uh, top trainer. And uh, they both have been streaming on Jonkis's um, Twitch, so make sure to check them out. But this team, this trainer, JBG, is using a Turtwig. Uh, like, not a Grottle, not a, well, he is using a Grottle here as well, but not a Torterra, a Turtwig. You see it right there. It's not even a Hundo, but it is a Shiny. Uh, and this thing learns Razor Leaf, Body Slam, and Seed Bomb, I think. He also uses a couple different team comps. Uh, using this Turtwig, and this is just going to be hilarious content right here. I think he actually ends up going 4-1 and one in this set as well. Look at this team, man. Mag Cargo running Rock Throw. Going to go for the Stone Edge here. Uh, the Overheat would obviously be uh, double super effective. Overheat would obviously be double super effective, but it would drop the attack of the Mag Cargo significantly. Definitely let the Mag Cargo... It survives the Power Whip, okay. <laughs> And Turtwig in the back. Oh my gosh, dude. So th this Turtwig is only like 1100 CP. Let me make sure I'm not maxing out this mic again. This Turtwig is only 1100 CP. Maxed out. Shiny. Thunder. <laughs> it tanks the thunder nicely. Gonna throw a body slam here. Gets the shield on the Ferrothorn, what in the world? And uh, Body Slam is the correct move here because the Seed Bomb is double resisted. Razor Leafs down the Ferrothorn and the Azu in the back. Is this Body Slam enough? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Taken out in a Zoomerill. If the frame rate is a little bit laggy, it's because uh, these videos were directly pulled off of um, the live stream. So hopefully it's still smooth. Um, switches in the Razor Leaf Shadow Grottle, and out comes the Meganium. So because this Grottle is Shadow, obviously it's going to be taking more super effective damage. Gets a shield from the Meganium. But Grottle is a tanky Pokemon, so I bet I bet it would actually survive that Frenzy Plant. D gonna double shield this, okay. There is that Shadow Gardevoir uh, that we already saw in the lead. How much does Body Slam do to Oh my gosh, that does so much to Meganium. Wind switch advantage. Out comes the Gardevoir, it's just getting absolutely melted. Do you bring in Turtwig here? Okay, Stunfisk to farm down. Nice farm. Oh my gosh, it's the Azu in the back. Let's go, Turtwig. Let's go, Turtwig. <laughs> Let's go. Does it survive this Ice Beam? Oh my gosh, Turtwig, you monster. You monster. I'm gonna go for Body Slam here. I'm gonna go for Body Slam. Gets the last shield. Oh my gosh, that Razor Leaf did so much, and then just gonna be able to discharge this uh, Azu. Is this a Hydro? Okay, just an Ice Beam. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my gosh. So the, the Grottle obviously baits out any potential grass uh, counter, and then uh, <laughs> the Turtwig sweep disrespect in the back. Gonna bring out the Grottle. Here we go. Here we go. Out comes Altaria. These Razor Leafs are double super effective, but you would not even recognize it because of how much damage they are doing. That Body Slam does a nice chunk. Does Winston shield here? Okay, gonna let the gonna let it go and then bring out the Stunfisk. Uh, his Stunfisk is running Thundershock, so that is hitting the Altaria for neutral damage. Gonna throw the Discharge. Discharge should be just enough to take out the Altaria. The opponent goes for Dragon Pulse, which is the correct play here. Wow, it's not enough. 
able to thunder shock it down. Very nice, very nice. Okay, out comes the opposing stun fisk again. And because Winston's stun fisk has so much energy, this is going to be pretty favorable here. Able to double mud bomb. And then probably switches into the crowd favorite turd twig. Let's go. Let's see an Azu in the back. Let's see an Azu in the back. Shield this up. Rock slide would actually do a decent chunk there. Something is weak to this in the back. If it is an Azu though, you have to save the shield for the ice beam, right? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's see it. Whoa, that's even better. Freaking lantern can't do anything to Turtwig. <laughs> Look how tiny this thing is. This little turtle is just putting on a show. Also, the spark would be triple resisted on uh, Stunfisk, anyways. Oh, yeah. Shield the Turtwig. This Turtwig is going all the way to Farm City with these Razor Leafs. You know it. You know it. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Good game. Good game. Holy crap. Stunfisk and the Skarmory. This is a very favorable lead. Out comes the Zoomerill. In comes Turtwig. Let's go. Turtwig does survive an Ice Beam. But gonna shield this up just to maintain switch. Stunfisk is such a hard wall to Skarmory, especially the, the version of Stunfisk that Winston is running here, the non Galarian. And oh, very unfortunate that the Azumarill reaches Ice Beam here. Does this KO? Oh, that sucks. Probably could have brought out the Shadow gro uh, Grottle onto this instead of the Turtwig, just to ensure that i um, gonna be able to maintain switch advantage there. Oh no. Yep, this was purely a game of alignment. Purely a game of alignment, because if Winston was able to win switch, um, the Stunfisk was gonna be able to remain on the Skarmory, and the Grottle would have been able to maintain on the Swamp. It would have been a very straightforward game from there. Poor little Turtwig. Could not handle the Ice Beam from that Azumarill. I mean, the thing is freaking 1100 CP. What more do you expect from the Tiny Turtle? It's doing its best. It's out here razor leafing. Um, I would love to see someone run just a triple Turtwig family team. Can we get some Torterra Grottle Turtwig hype? And just anytime you see an, uh, an Azumarill, just absolutely destroy it. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Uh, Winston does try to make a recovery by undercharging on the Skarmory and then farming up as much energy as possible. So he does make it as close as possible here. But unfortunately, this Swampert is still barely outside of Mud Bomb range and they have two Hydro stored anyways. <laughs> Good game. Little Turtle did not pull it through that time. All right, I think this is the final game in this set here. Stunfisk and the Obstagoon, okay, kind of a neutral matchup. Just going to safe swap the Grottle to bait out a potential grass counter. This is how um, these double weak teams in the back have to function. You have to be aggressive with your swaps in order to bait out the counter to the grass. And out comes the Marowak, gonna farm all the way down. Man, I bet this energy ball does a really nice chunk of damage here. Wow, gets the shield, okay. Gets the shield. You know that Obstagoon is still out there, and it's most likely an Azumarill in the back. No shields this. Oh man, okay, the Bone Club really does not do that much damage. Even though Bone Club is super effective, Shadow Ball is still the way to go, because you get Stab on it, and Bone Club is a horrible move, unfortunately. All right, this is just another Bone Club. Stunfisk can survive. Winston is being very smart and over farming here a bunch. Nice. Very nice. And then most likely the Obstagoon comes back in. It does. Gonna chip it with the Mud Bomb first and then I would imagine switch right into Turtwig and let this thing go to town. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, the scary thing is if it... Obstagoon didn't even throw a move. And it's an Azumarill in the back. 
So Turtwig is going to be able to handle this. Oh my gosh. Have you guys ever seen a Turtwig in Great League before? Absolutely insane. Uh, Winston, thank you so much for letting me use this footage. Uh, props to you for running this insanely interesting team. Um, and you ended up going four and one. Huge props to you. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you in the next video.